Hello, I'm Steve Livermore. I'm the pastor of Messiah United Methodist Church in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, and this is Messiah's Daily Devotional. Today, Tom Evitz is joining me. Um, he very graciously made a suggestion of teaming up to incorporate some hymns into our daily devotional. So we're beginning that project today. And I invite you to leave a comment below this video on YouTube or Facebook with your favorite hymn that you'd like to learn more about or hear played as we go through these devotional times. So let's begin today's devotional. And um, let me just start by saying that according to legend, St. Patrick was a missionary in Ireland, Ireland in the fifth century. King Loger of Tara declared that no one was allowed to light a fire any fires until a pagan festival was begun when they lit a fire on top of Slain Hill. In a move of defiance against that pagan ritual, St. Patrick did light a fire. And rather than execute him, the king was so impressed by his devotion that he let Patrick continue his missionary work. St. Patrick made an emphatic statement at the time he lit the fire. And these are passages of scripture. Jesus is the light of the world and none other, not even Lug, the pagan sun god. Jesus is the true light that enlightens everyone, the light shining in the midst of the darkness. Three centuries later, a monk named Dallin Forgale, to remember and honor the faith of St. Patrick, wrote the Irish poem, Rope to Mo Ballet. Be thou my vision. For Gale's poetry lived on as part of the monastic tradition for centuries until in the early 20th century, Mary Elizabeth Byrne translated the poem into English from Gaelic. And in 1912, Eleanor Hall versified the text into what is now a well-loved hymn and prayer that at every moment in our lives, God would be our vision above all else. This hymn acts as a prayer to God, that he would be the first that we seek after, and that he continually refocus the direction of our life. 40 years ago, this next Sunday, May the 31st, Be Thou My Vision was the hymn that was played while my bride walked down the aisle and we began our, began our marriage in Christ. The name of the tune to this hymn is slain after the hill where Patrick lit his fire to spark a vision of faith in Christ throughout Ireland. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart, not be all else to me, save that thou art. Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. <laughs> 